r slash ask reddit what is the most pointless thing that actually exists a bird bath in the yard with no water in it the lady next door has a dry bird bath and wonders why birds never pay a visit why are the fish not visiting my dessert answers of i don't know sorry to amazon product questions q does this vacuum bag work in the Hoover SD6583? A. I don't know. I don't own that vacuum. The reason for this is because if you ask a question on Amazon, it emails some of the buyers and the email kinda seems like someone is asking them the question directly, so people respond with I don't know. Sorry because they think that someone went out of their way to email them directly asking the question, rather than asking a question on Amazon. So overall, it's Amazon's fault for doing it like that because if they made it more obvious that these questions weren't only directed towards the individuals who got the email, then we would get less of the non-answer answers. My Tinder account. I think you mean attractive women effortlessly rejecting you simulator. When I was 22 I lived in Hawaii. Me and my buddies would walk around downtown and Honolulu and just ask girls out to lunch. After getting rejected 99 times in a weekend to your face the whole silent Tinder rejection thing doesn't bother you anymore. 99 no's and 1 yes is still a really fun weekend. The exit button on Skype. Because it doesn't ducking exit Skype when you click on it. Same with Spotify. The 37 pillows my wife puts on our bed. I think there's a Ben Stiller romcom about this. A hedgehog with alopecia. Pockets on baby clothes. I mean, aside from somewhere to put their car keys and concealed carry permits. WTF does a baby need pockets for? For my daughter. The answer was, every rock she saw. The warning label may contain peanuts that's on the back of a container of peanuts. Or caution, flammable on fire logs. Isn't that the entire point of them? Trust me, there are idiots who don't understand this. I worked at Safeway, and during the winter we sell firewood. I had a person ask me if our firewood was burnable. My mum's good plates and good towels that never get used because they are decorative and were not allowed to touch them. Ha, huh, I had to sleep in an unfinished basement with no heat, while my mom's living room was off limits. These plates were cool, but they're hand wash only so I'll save them for events when I can be bothered to do that, aka never. A lifetime membership to Christian Mingle. Why don't they offer an after lifetime membership? Hello, I am interested in collaborating on a business opportunity. Decorative fruit, I just don't get it. You could say the same thing about any decorations. Some people just like the look of fruit, but fruit goes off, smells bad and attracts flies. In some homes there is a separate living room that no one ducking goes into, and god help you if you do, your mother will beat the life out of you. I ran into these across the Arab world, I know they are in America too, but damn, it's somehow really creepy, and then you finally use it and it's like no one guest or host, is in their own home. Oh let's all meet in this room that none of us have ever seen before. Don't even know where to sit my drink. Are there coasters? Probably. But where? Damn I am sweating. Fake pockets it's just like what the frickety frack am I supposed to do this but at least it's not as bad as small pockets. A protective case for the Nokia 3310. It's not to protect the Nokia, but to protect the world. Plastic wrap for bananas. Do you all eat your bananas with or without the shell? Social media influencers. I can't even believe it's a thing. They're basically just advertisers. Stupid as it is conceptually, they're also very effective. Nobody watches regular ass TV anymore so paid social media posts are the new commercials. Yep. It makes a lot more sense when you realize that for every 1000 people calling themselves influencers in a sad attempt to piggyback off the people who made money, the people who can actually call themselves influencers are basically human billboards who have made social media a full time job with near constant amounts of work. Their job is to go to a beach, hold Bacardi rum and look like they're having a fun time before they go into a meeting to discuss the best way to organically integrate a new line of sandals into the next shot. The ultimate product is a fantasy that they themselves aren't actually living. But thousands of kids think they can live because they bought the lie. Decorative pillows. 
As a result of my wife my sofa has two men and my bed has two men it. Probably not as a result of my wife every hotel I go to has two men it. They have to be moved to make the thing they are decorating functional. Then moved back to ensure the decorative effect is maintained. Super likes on Tinder I think. Male nipples. I don't know. Mine are pretty pointy. Wasps. Little duckers. No. Their stings are pretty pointy. People insulting each other in situations which need civil discussion. You're dumb. The pointless box that turns itself off when you turn it on. No. That has a purpose. To annoy people. The entire Kardashian family. Rooms you're not allowed to sit in. As a kid, my aunt and uncle had a special fancy sitting room that the kids weren't allowed to go in. I told them they should put up those ropes that museums use to keep you away from the art lol. <laughs> Bedbugs. Blood sucking parasites that make people miserable. And for what ecological purpose? Evidence points to nothing. They don't have many predators these days. Because I live in houses. There is no indication that they are a critical food source for another species. Without bed bugs available, the few predators who eat them simply turn to other prey with no particular difficulty, at least, as far as we know, and they don't spread disease so not population control. They are just there, making people itchy and stressed, for the sheer duck of it. Apparently the free dog poop bags at my apartment complex. Buzzfeed. Throw pillows. The crease in your pants that makes it look like you have a tiny raging boner. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.